My name is Faye Isles. I'm 81 years old and I live in Caldwell, Idaho in what is called the Snake River Valley and I overlook mountains on both sides. I enjoy the beauty of God's world. I enjoy gardening with flowers. I enjoy reading and I enjoy writing. Approximately three years ago, my husband Merle died after suffering from 18 years of leukemia. And um, we had met in college and married while we were seniors. And we've traveled in a lot of the world as a teacher. My husband was a teacher and I was also, but he did it then. And um, we had a wonderful life. It was as if half my heart was torn out. And it's been very difficult. I was asked several months ago to sing in a senior choir, but I hadn't sung hardly at all in the last 20 years. And this, this has been very uh, rewarding for me to be able to sing again. After Merle died, I had more time to watch TV. And I did a lot. And uh, during the day, I don't watch as much, but I have watched a lot. And the, the Ministry of God TV has, has aided in my grief recovery because of the hope that lies within us and that is broadcast all the time. When Wendy prays, you can see that she is touching heaven. She is touching God and his heart. And uh, in the last uh, few weeks, she was praying over Jerusalem and over Israel. And um, her prayer was so urgent and dynamic and strong. Forever on my arms and circled around your walls, your walls are ever before me. I, I love the youth um, that are, are featured so much because they have this tremendous joy in the Lord. And that's what we are supposed to have. That's what I want is the joy of the Lord. That's our strength and that has become my strength. Seeing the young people of this world be so jubilant about God and Jesus and Holy Spirit and His part in their lives is tremendously um, inspiring to me. And I think, God, there is hope for the United States. There is hope for the world. And the only hope is in you. And I see that in God TV and, and these young people. Recently, I saw Patricia King talking about light. Worst nightmare. I just, I got this sphere of light and so do you, if you choose it. If you look according to truth, you'll see that you have this. You are armored in light. You're armored in Jesus Christ. So I got this, this realm of light, just like you do. And everywhere I go, whoo -hoo, the light goes. That means if there's darkness three feet in front of me, it's dispelled immediately because darkness cannot put out light, but light puts out darkness. Amen. And to me, that meant a lot because I could imagine it then as not just a, a, an abstract thing, but as a reality in my life that the light was there if I was a child of God. Creflo Dollar is one of my favorite preachers. And he said, if you realize how much God loves you, you will not want to sin. The emphasis should be on how much God loves us, not on how much we love God. How much you love God will always fall short compared to how much God loves you. Your focus on God's love for you will make you unshakable. But your focus on your love for God is always going to be shakable. You don't sin when you have a sense of God's love for you. And when you understand that God loves you enough to make you the righteousness of God, you don't have to worry about sin. Oh, the breakthroughs that I've seen and they're increasing more and more because I made a decision that every day of my life, I'm going to do three things. Number one, I am going to declare that I'm the righteousness of God. And I'm going to be a continuous receiver of, of this gift of righteousness. 
Number two, I declare God loves me today. And number three, I declare old things have passed away. All things have become new. Stovall Weems spoke on the Orange, Code Orange Revival uh, series. And he said something that was very um, emphatic in, in, for me. He spoke of creating space for God. Just create space for God. Pastor, I need God to, to bless my finances. Have you created the space? In your finances, that's what the tithe is all about. Imagine your your financial portfolio. Here's, let's say this is 100%. When you take that 10% out, you create a 10% hole. You create a an empty space so God can come in and fill. And whatever God fills, He multiplies. Whatever God fills, He blesses. See, when you create space for God, you take your want and you make it away. I want God to bless my marriage. Create some space. Take your want and make it away. Give God a way, a space that he can come in and fill. That is how I look at it now when I think of giving to God TV. Because I give, it's not my tithe, but it's my offering above my tithe. And I have been blessed so much in the last six months, and even my children have said this, that I have been blessed. And I, I think of creating space for God is really a, a wonderful concept. And when we create the space in our finances for God, He will pour in His blessings on us. God TV equips me to live out my calling because they consistently talk about destiny. And I hadn't thought much about destiny before I heard this over and over again from different preachers on God TV. And I realized then that I have a destiny to fulfill. I am here. I'm still here. So God, God has something designed for me to do while I'm here. And I want to do it. If people watch God TV consistently, they will be ministered to in a way that, that is really unexplainable but uh, profound and giving to something that ministers we are supposed to give to something that ministers to us we are to give our tithe to the church we attend but we are then supposed to give our offerings to the people who minister to us and where we get the most out of and i'm sure that if someone started watching god tv it would minister to them and they would they would be part of this wonderful effort to reach the world for Jesus Christ. These one billion souls. That's a wonderful dream. And it's not a dream. It will be a reality. And you'll be part of that reality. That's the wonderful thing about it.